Hey guys, it's Andrew from Softmodder, and today I'm going to be showing you how to translate any text in any app using in-app translator. Now this can be downloaded directly from the Play Store and it doesn't require you to have root permission or install the Xbox module, it just works right away. So to get started, open up the Play Store, look up in-app translator, hit install, accept the permissions, let it download, and then hit open once it installs. Okay, when you first open in-app translator, this is the screen that you will get and pretty much you can set up your default language and that's the one on the right. So I speak English, so I'm going to put it as English. And then on the left, you can set the language that you're translating from. And I usually just leave it as auto detect so that I don't have to worry about selecting it every time I switch to a new website or a different app. After you have your settings all set up, go ahead and tap T icon on the bottom and then now you'll see a T icon on your screen. It'll hover over so you can pretty much move it wherever you want. I usually keep it on the side towards the bottom. And that's pretty much all the setup there is for it. Now to start using it, you can just go ahead, open up any app and see I already have a Spanish article brought up. So pretty much all you have to do is select text and this is the most important part you have to copy it to your clipboard if it's not in your clipboard it won't be able to translate it that's the only shortcoming of this app but after that go ahead and tap the T icon one more time give it a second and then you'll be able to see the um, the translated text at the bottom this doesn't use Google Translate it actually uses Microsoft Translator and that's just because Google charges for the API for Google Translate while Microsoft currently does not so you, that does mean that you need a internet connection in order for this to work properly. After you after you're done seeing your translated text, you could always just exit out, and that's it. I hope this helped you guys out. Be sure to check out the full tutorial at HTC One Software, and like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one, guys.